bluegrass music became popular in the early 1950s, but its roots go much deeper than that. It is believed to have originated from the Appalachian region of the U.S., where people would gather to pick and play with each instrument taking its turn playing the melody and improvising around it. Bill Monroe is considered the father of bluegrass. The Stanley Brothers, Lester Flatt, and Earl Scruggs all came from this first generation of bluegrass musicians. Sam Bush, Bella Fleck, Del McCurry, and Tony Rice are considered to be in the second generation of pickers that came about in the late 1960s. David Grisman, Peter Rowan, and the Grateful Dead's Jerry Garcia formed Old and In the Way during this time as well. Today, most of the second generation is still alive and playing, and they've been joined by many others. Trampled by Turtles, Allison Krauss, Yonder Mountain String Band, and the Old Crow Medicine Show are all popular bluegrass bands, but each have their own unique sound. Even comedian Steve Martin has gotten in on the action with his Steep Canyon Rangers band. Drive into central Pennsylvania, and you will find the quaint little town of Elizabethtown. Situated in between Lancaster and Harrisburg, it may not seem like your typical bluegrass town, but bluegrass music can be found here. Marcus Weaver can also be found here. He's a plumber by day, but in his free time he enjoys music, specifically playing the banjo in the bluegrass band Colebrook Road. I used to live down in Rocky Mount, Virginia, which is the moonshine capital of the world. But uh, I was going to school down there, and my buddy Wes Worthington uh, was playing the banjo one day, and I had picked up a banjo a couple months earlier. Uh, my aunt and uncle gave me one. And uh, I saw him playing there, and I was like, wow, you play the banjo. And uh, he's like, no, I'm just taking lessons right now, but I'm learning, trying to learn. I was like, well, I have one too. Um, you should hook me up with your banjo teacher. So he did, he gave me his number, and I called up uh, Dan, his, we called him Banjo Dan, and he's this old guy. I didn't realize how old he was. He's uh, 82 years old at the time when I was taking lessons. He has a little uh, shed next to his house where he teaches banjo and some other instruments as well. I listened to him play one time, or every time, and. Uh, He's just unreal. He could tear up the banjo at 82 years old. He'd be sitting there smoking his palm malls, picking on the banjo, and that's how I got hooked up with Banjo Dan. He has gone and passed away by now. He uh, died probably about two years ago. I believe that I'll be playing my whole life because uh, I just love the sound of the banjo. There's nothing like it. Jesse, the guitar player, and I met in high school, and on the way, uh, we both moved back to this area in 2007. I ended up moving back to the area uh, after living out west for a while, doing some other stuff, and one of the uh, friends that we had both gone to high school with said, hey, you should contact Wade, he plays bluegrass. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know anybody around here did that. So sent him a message and we got together and started picking and a couple years went by and some moving around and ended up uh, both kind of settling here and uh, he said he knew this guy that played the banjo named Marcus and uh, he knew another guy on the bass and we sort of just uh, gave him a call and got together and started picking and it worked out pretty good. So I got hooked up with uh, some of the members that are in my band now. Um, I heard that they played bluegrass so we all got together one night probably about two and a half years ago, and we started uh, doing some picking. We all looked at each other and was like, man, we should start a band, this is sounding pretty good. Thank you. 
just this past year, um, we played at West Virginia, picking in the Panhandle um, Music Festival, the Bluegrass Festival. We entered the band competition and we played uh, one of our songs. They only wanted us to play one song. It was called Coyote, which uh, the lead singer in Colebrook Road wrote that song. That's another song kind of out of my childhood. I had seen a coyote when I was younger out of my parents' farm and got me to thinking about how a lot of the farmland in this part of the state's disappearing, housing developments, um, you know, strip malls and whatnot. So I decided to write another song out of that and it was really cool that we got to play that song and people liked it and, you know, recognized that it was from the heart and we ended up winning the competition with that song. So that was a pretty cool experience. This land you call home of God. Medicine show who are incredibly popular, especially with the under 30 crowd. Um, they play old time, and then Yonder Mountain Stream Band from Mountain Colorado, they play straight up bluegrass. And uh, you know, the fact that they can go play shows for 10,000, 20,000 people in certain venues um, just speaks a lot for kind of the resurgence of old time music, uh, Bill Monroe's music, or even older than that. I think people are not everybody, but a lot of people are kind of tired of the regular standard things that you hear on the radio, regular pop culture, and this is kind of like counterculture, um, not stuff you'd necessarily hear from the mainstream. I think it definitely appeals to a lot of people. Now there's a lot of very overproduced pop music, you know, <clears throat> very electronic kind of music. I think people sort of are looking for something a little more pure, a little more unadulterated, you know, a little more honest kind of music. As things are getting faster and faster paced, people are still going to have a, a sort of uh, a connection with things that are that are more comfortable and more more homey and maybe a little more more simple. Um, you know, you need to use the overused word organic, but kind of that that sort of thing. And I think that um, bluegrass music sort of taps into that. You can get that uh, spiritual feeling that you get from music just from. Uh, acoustic instrument, which is really awesome. I think it's great.